Okay, I'm here with Joe Maddalena, and he's going to walk us through some of the items up for auction October 8th and 9th in yeah. Hollywood Auction 37. Absolutely. So we kind of, and this has become our rogues gallery. People have kind of named it, have come in the office. It's a pretty impressive uh, little group of costumes. You start with the Michael Keaton Batman, which is uh, from the first film. A great costume, really good condition. I think it's the second one we've had, and, uh, and a really cool display. So kind of an iconic uh, Batman costume. The gloves are replicas, the boots are replicas, everything okay. else is real, and this comes with full Warner's uh, COAs. Okay, great. And then these are our highlights. I mean, these are the treasures from Stan Winston Studios. These were Stan's personal favorite pieces that would never have been sold. Unfortunately, Stan passed away, so the family is selling these, but these were his favorites. I mean, these were the things that were off the table, because I've handled the sale of everything that he's ever sold, and these were never meant to be sold. Um, this is the T2 um, Hero Arnold costume worn by the puppet. So this would have, the costume, the bandolier, the pants, the boots are all real. T2, worn by the T2 Arnold puppet. The body, um, the shell, the gun are all made by Stan Winston artists to make this form for Stan's, you know, you know, uh, boardroom, his meeting room, which is legendary where all these figures stood. This is a T2 3D endoskeleton. This was the main one featured in Cameron's, you know, T2 3D movie. I mean, again, totally iconic. Um, parts of it are from T2, repurposed for T2 3D. But again, the scale, I'm almost 6'1", give you an idea of how big this thing is. I mean, this is, again, one of the most significant um, um, pieces you could ever imagine. I mean, it's a piece of art. You know, it goes beyond just a normal prop. And how do you think it compares with the full-size endo that you sold uh, well, last year? Well, the endo year? skeleton I sold for 425000 was 100% T2 and T1. Okay, so this is T2 repurposed for T2 3D, so it's got new parts added to it for T2 3D. Okay. I mean, more than half of it, so it's not quite the same thing. It would be for the, um, um, it's just, it, you know, it's not T2. You know, we, we, you know, T2, now we're going into T2, 3D, upwards. It's just a different type of thing. Better made, <laughs> Yeah. probably. It looks fantastic. But not, you don't have the historical importance of T2. It is part T2, but mostly T2, 3D. Okay. Do you know if the gun was made for or used in uh, the T2, film? T2, 3D. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All of it's T2, 3D. Okay. Um, this is T3. Uh, the Terminatrix is only one. They only made one. This is the one and only hero. Um, it's great because it lights up and there's all the blue, you know, LED tubes inside and her whole body illuminates blue. This is a great thing. I mean, you know, yeah. it's unbelievable. There, there, we have the hero close-up insert head, which I can show you later. But again, to get the scale of how big these are when you put them next to me, because in the catalog you'll never understand how big right. these are. He's pretty cool. Yeah, it makes you look pretty short. <laughs> yeah, I mean these are huge. I mean she was, she, you know, she wasn't this big. Obviously, the actress was little, but just but to give you an idea of scale because she was so thin, a great, great thing. And then this is T three. This is a full on endoskeleton. You know, so again, it's not T two, but you know, for the replacement, it's T three. I mean, this is a great thing. I mean, it's totally historic, one hundred percent original, right from Stan's boardroom. It's just a great thing. And they're all rigged, they all light up. Stan had them all functioning in his boardroom. This one's still rigged, the face, the eyes light up. Okay. And then, you know, we should probably continue to do Stan. This is um, a T-Rex mech head, again, to give you a scale of size compared to how big I am, compared to how big this is. This is one of the most historic things in the whole auction in the sense that Stan built this on spec. And this is what they took to Spielberg. And based upon this model, they green-lighted Jurassic Park, the first film. So again, this is not screen used, but without this, there would never have been this film. So for a historically important piece from Jurassic Park, for somebody who doesn't want one that's uh, 50 feet long, right. this is a great thing. This is one of my favorite things in the auction, because it's just, all you got to do is, this is your whole collection. <laughs> it's an instant <laughs> display, right? Um, and then, you know, just in, the, in keeping with our stand, you know, this is the uh, robot from Zathora. Again, to give you an idea of size, how big it is. <laughs> it's pretty huge. 
you know, none of these things from him are small, but you know, some of the greatest visual effects ever made for screen. Um, this is the Tom Cruise uh, costume from Interview with the Vampire. This was worn by the puppet, the Tom Cruise puppet, you know, 100% complete, 100% original, on a full body, you know, form of uh, casting of Tom Cruise, right down to the jewelry. So for an Interview with the Vampire fan, this is pretty cool. Um, this is not for sale at the time. This is from Stan. This is his pride and joy. This is a complete head-to-toe Edward Scissorhand, 100% original. All it's not is the casting, but it's a life casting from Johnny's face with a, an original wig. Um, this is going to go to MoMA. Uh, it'll be there from October to April in the Tim Burton a retrospective. And it's possible it'll be sold next summer. We're not sure yet um, when this will be sold, but someday it'll be sold. Okay. Um, again, continuing more, um, you know, one of Stan's AI insert teddy bears. Um, one of the AI insert, one of the Jurassic Park insert velociraptor heads. Um, a full scale velociraptor to get an idea of how big these things are. It's huge. <laughs> you could ride it. Oh, it's definitely <laughs> huge. Um, this is uh, this is actually Stan. Um, Stan was the um, in, in security guard. So this is actually. Stan's face from AI. Okay. Great, great thing. His workmanship was so amazing. Um, and one of my favorite things, this is from a Hummer commercial. This is made by Stan uh, probably in the last five years. But if you ever wanted um, a great robot, yeah, this is such a great thing. This is better than any piece of art I've seen in it, like in an art gallery. This is so good looking. It's, it's just, you know, if you like robots, it's so the time period of what you'd expect a robot to look like. But this, again, is an idea. This is actually a costume. Somebody wore this. Oh, wow. You know, so the, 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 the guy would get inside and they would actually use this. So, again, to really give you an idea of how great his craftsmanship and stuff was. And then from Terminator 2, this is the hero... Um, Hunter Killer, flying Hunter Killer. In the last sale, we had the Hunter Killer 1 uh, flying. This is 2. And you can notice the detail if you go back to the last catalog and looked at HK1. This is way better looking. By oh, 2, wow. they had the detail down. This is thing, it's gorgeous. Yeah. You can flip it over. It has all the uh, uh, points where it can be you know, hung. The person that owned this had it hung in their house for years. So it's, just, again, a really, a really iconic piece.